If you are planning to borrow money and would like to evaluate how much payment is required from you every period, there's an Excel function that can help you. This Excel function allows you to determine the installment amount. The Excel payment or PMT function is a financial function that calculates the periodic payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. You can use the PMT function to figure out payments for a loan given the loan amount, number of periods to pay, and interest rate. In this video, I will show you how to do it. This is the payment or PMT formula. Let us define each of the arguments. First, we have the rate or interest rate for the loan. You can type it or just refer to the cell where the rate is indicated. The next argument refers to the number of periods or the total number of payments to be made. Next is the present value or the total value of loan payments now. In simple words, this is the loan amount. The next argument is FV or future value or a cash balance that you want after the last payment is made. This is optional so you may just leave it blank. If not defined, the default is zero. The last argument is the type which is also optional. This is to indicate when payments are due, whether at the beginning or end of the period. You can indicate zero if payments are due at the end of the period and one if due at the beginning of the period. As this is optional, you may just leave it blank also. And the default is zero. It can be best presented as this. If zero or omitted, that means due at the end of the period. If you indicate one, that means the loan payment is due at the beginning of the period. Now let's use the formula with this data. Let's say you want to borrow 10,000. The annual interest rate is 5% and the payment term is 36 months. To calculate the monthly amortization, type the equal sign and PMT, then tab, and you are required to first enter the rate. Since the rate is given as annual and we are computing for the monthly payment, let's divide it by 12. And after the rate, let's input the number of periods to pay, which is 36. Then, the amount of loan, which is 10,000. And you get the monthly payment of the loan. By default, it's negative. And if you don't want to show the result that way, just put minus sign here to make it a positive amount. So the monthly payment is 299.71. Using the same data, let us try to get the payment required if the due date is at the beginning of the period or if we use one as type. So let us type equal sign, PMT and tab, then input the rate, number of periods, and the loan amount. The same with what we did earlier but this time let us use one for type. Double comma, since we skip one argument, or the future value then input 1 and this is your monthly amortization you'll notice that it is a bit lower than the first one because you need to pay earlier here or at the beginning of the period take note that the payment returned by PMT includes principal and interest only it does not consider any other charges or fees it is important that you are consistent with the units you supply for rate and number of periods. If you make monthly payments on a 3-year loan at an annual interest rate of 
use 5% divided by 12 for rate and 3 times 12 for the number of periods. For annual payments on the same loan, use 5% for rate and 3 for the number of periods. Let us compute for the loan amortization, assuming that instead of paying monthly, you have to do it annually. To compute for the annual payment, type the equal sign again, then PMT, and hit tab. The first to enter is the interest rate, and since we are computing for the annual payment, let us use this reference as is since this rate is also annual. There is no need to divide it by 12 this time. Now for the number of periods, we should divide it by 12 to get the number of years to pay. Then again, the loan amount. And this is your annual payment. Put a negative sign here. If you want to know the total amount paid over the duration of the loan, multiply the returned PMT value by the number of periods. So here, the total payment for the whole term is 299 times or 299.71 times 36. Next, your total payment would be 298.47 times 36. Then the third example is 3,672.09 times instead of 36, the number of periods is only 3 as this is annual. And that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to my channel.